All right, everybody, this is James with Phoenix Auto Detailing. It's a beautiful day here in Somerville, South Carolina, and we have not done a non-detailing video in quite some time. So today we have Rebecca's 2020 Dodge Charger in the garage here. Uh, she just got her rear louvers, or the louvers for the rear windows here. <clears throat> so once she gets done getting showered up and cleaned up and changed and everything else that women do before they do work, we're going to install these louvers together i uh, hope you like the content uh, if you do give it a thumbs up leave a comment uh, subscribe if you want to so hope you like the content uh, it's uh, probably the comedy more or less than anything else of us trying to install the louvers on these things together uh, every time we get together and do some work it is definitely entertaining definitely comical and if i'm nice enough to her maybe she'll cook me dinner tonight so if you like the content, like anything in here, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment. Uh, hey, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Maybe we'll get more subscribers on the random stuff that we do than we do get for the detailing work. But either way, we're gonna keep doing what we do. And uh, hopefully we can provide some content that you guys will enjoy. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video. So we've got Rebecca out here getting ready. She's feeling pretty America today in her red, white, and blue. And me, I'm standing here trying to eat a sandwich that I fixed myself because Rebecca builds million dollar boats 40 hours a week, puts up with me for the rest of the week. She says she ain't got no time for no sandwich making so I can make my own damn sandwich. <laughs> Cause that's just how mean she is to me. Sounds about right. Yep. She's talking to other boyfriend on Facebook. Yeah, it's the way, we, it's the way she rolls around here. She's pretty mean to me. <laughs> all right so we get ready to do the uh the unboxing and opening of the looks like cross select style design the box that the uh louvers came in for the rear wing windows you see all the pollen out here that's what happens when the trees go into mating season and they release their their mating dust and they want everybody else to breathe it in I prepared her an unveiling space and she laughs at me. She thinks I'm goofy. It's like we got some uh, installation notes, some adhesion promoter wipes. It's pretty fancy packaging. Let me put my NOS energy drink down since they haven't sponsored me yet. Oh, they come individually wrapped. This is awesome. What you doing? Reading it. Reading it. All right, so we're getting ready to install them. Rebecca said that she's the woman, she's the master, I'm the servant. So I gotta do the work while she videos and tells me what to do. So I guess first thing I'm gonna do is kind of blow this pollen off of here. Wipe it off the best you can. What? You can talk. Well, what did you do? What? You're talking. Mention the midnight mopar? Yeah, decals. Yeah, the, uh, the red on here is gonna match the decals pretty good. So she's pretty excited about that. So they look good together, they don't clash too bad. So I guess the first thing we need to do is dry fit it after we've got it all cleaned up. And there's a little bit of gap around there. I guess we could either center it or just let it sit on the bottom. It's not gonna make too much of a difference. I say probably sit on the bottom. What do you think? Sit on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. That's up to you. Yeah, it gives it the same amount on either side. Yeah. And you can't see the bottom, and it would make it to where you know it's straight. Yeah. <laughs> but work. that's up to you. If you yeah. think it'll look we'll good. All right. So make sure we got it clean again. Did you already use the alcohol wipe? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Let's wait for you tell me what to do. You're the boss. Okay, you gotta wipe it with the alcohol wipes. Okay. They're 70 proof. 70 proof or 90 proof? It says 70 proof. 90, 70? Okay. All right. Stand on this side. So we get the uh, 
the primer adhesion promoter. <laughs> it has N in front of it, so I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but it's just fancy things they put on there. So I want you to wipe the area. Doesn't smell very good. Probably shouldn't do that. Maybe that's why NOS Energy Drink hasn't sponsored me yet. Keep trying to sniff alcohol wipes. Alright, then we gotta wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Because we are an auto detailer, we definitely have plenty of microfiber towels and we keep them clean. Alright. So now we peel off the the backings. Do you need me to peel off the backing? I know you don't have any nails. <laughs> uh, I think I can get it. No nails and fingers don't work. I've been smashed and jammed and broken and twisted and turned and everything else way too many times. Clean it up later. By the time you get all the sticker tape off, there's gonna be pollen all over it. I know. The trees would stop mating around here. I have to wipe the window clean again. You might want to clean the window better because once we put this on, there's no way to clean the window. You got smears all oh, over it. It's gonna get dirty again anyway, so you're not gonna be able to get it on there. Wow. All kinds of stuff on all kind of grease on there. Good thing you know a detailer, he can clean it. I know. All right, and here we go. On the driver's side, we have installed the handles so that when she's on the drag strip doing the burnout, you have a place to hold on to the car to keep it from going side to side to keep it sit in the center of the lane. So you got one person on this side holding these handles, one person on the other side holding the handles, and she can do a really good burnout. That's not what they're for, is it? No, what are they for? I don't know. They're just for looks. They're cool looking. <laughs> they're like cool looking, but you could. I mean, I guess you could hold it straight. It looks nice. It does. Looks good with your decals. Mm -hmm. Midnight Mopars, nationwide, South Carolina chapter. <laughs> Uh, so Rebecca says she's going to do the passenger side. Oh, I can see you in the mirror, the window. I can see your reflection. You're just as beautiful. Oh, a little dusty on the face, but... This one has, did that one have like more of a gap over here? Not that I remember. You slide it forward a little bit. Well, I know, and then I can see the glass in the back. I didn't notice that on that side. Uh, maybe it's just the way the, the rubber trim was put in around the window or the frame. Doesn't seem like it sits as flush as the other side. No, it'll see, be such a subtle difference. You won't be able to tell unless you measure it from side to side. The smears you were talking about, I think it's the adhesion promoter, adhesion promoter, because it was that way all the way around it. It did the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. See with her pretty little fingers she can get it off faster than I could. Focus, concentration. She can't be stopped. Oh, don't oh wait, there's a cat. Can't pull it off now. Oh shoot! You can't. It's on there. Oh. Oh well. You risk getting it dirty and not sticking again. Oh well. Yeah, pressed in all the way around. Mm-hmm. It's not going anywhere. I tried. Pull it right in there. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. I don't know how long it was. About 10, maybe 15 minutes to do both of them. So what do you think? Looks good. Not as good as you. <laughs> what was that? Only negative is the fitment of it is not as good as I would have liked. No, I understand that, but you also got the um, <clears throat> the variation in it's everything that's made. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The only way they could have made these perfect is if you brought your individual car. Yeah, and they just I mean, there's custom made them a for a little them. gap on this side and a gap on this side. No. But other I'll, than that, for I think it was forty dollars, something like that. Yeah. It's not bad. No, it's not too bad. I mean, like I said the only way to get it any better is if you custom bit it for each individual window because there's always going to be variances from the manufacturer. Uh, shrinkage in the rubber around the windows. Uh, millimeters off of welding or something like that. Who knows? Looks pretty good. What you doing? Oh, well, I think some kind of bird poopy. Ooh, ball. bird poop. Ooh, look. There's more bird poop. Oh my gosh. Ooh. It's like watery bird poop. What you using? I'm using Jack's Wax Waterless Wash. Oh, it's the Jack's Wax stuff. Who else uses that? Huh? Who uses that stuff? Phoenix Auto Detailing. Phoenix Auto Detailing, that's right. That's what we do. We detail and we are proud to use Jack's Wax products. A little plug there. Yep, there's a little plug there for Phoenix Auto Detail. That's what we do. We're a detailer. We have fun trying to do other videos when we install stuff. Just craziness. But uh, if you like it, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let us know who looks better, me or her. I think I'm gonna win. I think it's the salt and pepper look. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. I'll say that again. I said this side fits better. It has a little gap on this side, but overall fits better than the other side. Look at it. Got the smudges off of there for the most part. Getting the bug guts off. Ew, bug guts. You know what the last thing it goes through a bug's mind is before it hits your car? What? His butt. <laughs> Old man jokes. Look at that. All nice and clean. Pollen.
nice and clean. Pollen. Oh. Look at that reflection. Who's your detailer? Phoenix Auto Detail. Ooh, they do good work.